Well, guys, look over there. There is Spotted Eagle Ray. Spotted Eagle Ray can communicate in various ways, primarily through vocalizations, body movements, and facial expressions. They often use sounds like growls, grunts, or other vocalizations to convey messages to other leopards. Additionally, they utilize body language such as tail movements and body positions to communicate. This is Mosasaurus. Mosasaurus swam across the ocean using its strong and long tail. In some types of Mosasaurus, the tail itself can be more than half the size of the body and can be composed of 100 vertebrae. Mosasaurus swam by swinging their bodies to the right and left to propel them while in the water. There is an octopus. Octopuses typically hunt for food at night. They use their long, flexible arms to search for prey on the ocean floor, including crabs, shrimp, fish, and other small mollusks. Octopuses also employ camouflage and their ability to climb to stealthily approach prey before swiftly capturing it with their strong beaks. There is a jellyfish. Jellyfish have luminous organs that emit light or are known as bioluminescent. Bioluminescence is the body's ability to produce light. This light is green and blue. Crystal jellyfish are a type of jellyfish that have bioluminescent abilities. This light is a chemical reaction of proteins produced by the jellyfish's body with seawater. This is puffer fish. Puffer fish that have white spots apparently have a unique habit of building nests. Male pufferfish make round nests in the sand. Their goal in building a nest is to attract the attention of females. Usually, if female fish are impressed, they will lay their eggs in the nest. This is a blue-spotted ray. Some species of blue-spotted rays have spiny protrusions on their dorsal surfaces, which can help protect them from predators by providing physical defense. Some ray species, including some blue-spotted rays, can generate electricity to defend themselves from predators or even to catch prey. Blue-spotted rays can swim swiftly to evade approaching predators. This is Blue Whale. In the 1900s, there was a massive blue whale hunt. Records show about 380,000 blue whales were caught. The aim of hunting blue whales is to extract fish oil which comes from the fat of these giant mammals. Blue whale oil is widely used in oil lamps and to make soap and margarine. This is Gernard Fish. Currently there are many hobbyists who choose flying gurnard fish to fill their aquariums. Food that tends to be easy to care for also makes this fish relatively easy to care for. However, that doesn't mean there are no challenges at all in keeping gurnard flying fish. With a maximum size of up to 50 centimeters. This is a hermit crab. Not many people know that hermit crabs undergo a molting process. Simply put, molting is shedding the exoskeleton and growing a new one. This process stresses hermit crabs and makes them more vulnerable. On average, hermit crabs molt once every 18 months, but some do it more often. In one molting process, hermit crabs need 4 to 8 weeks. There is lobster. Lobsters have a hard exoskeleton, or shell, that does not grow with them. To grow, they undergo a process called molting, where they shed their old shell and form a new, larger shell. During the skin changing process, lobsters are at their most vulnerable phase to attack by predators. This is Gulper Eel. Male gulper eels generally have larger eyes than females. 
Scientists believe that males can meet females mainly because males follow the scent of pheromones released by females, but the ability of pelican eels to produce light at the tip of their tail is also used to attract the attention of the opposite sex to reproduce. This is Lemon Shark. The favorite habitat for lemon sharks is sandy waters with a depth that tends to be shallow. Apart from that, even if forced to move, lemon sharks will definitely prefer to be around coral reef areas. When they are small, the habitat choices of lemon sharks are actually different than when they are adults. This is ammonite. Ammonite live throughout the seas and swam by squirting water in one direction to push themselves along. Ammonites appeared 425 million years ago and were very common ocean animals throughout the age of the dinosaurs. Wow, this is starfish. Starfish survive through several methods, including regeneration, sexual reproduction, and the ability to change the color of their bodies. They also utilize their bumpy exoskeletons to protect themselves from predators and move using a water vascular system called the ambulacral system. There is a clownfish. Unlike most animal species, for clownfish looking after and caring for their young is not the mother's job, but the father's job. The main male not only fertilizes, but he even prepares a place for the female so she can lay her eggs safely. After that, the father will look after the eggs and clean the nest of dirt. This is a crayfish. Crayfish walk forward, but they can also move backwards only when swimming by using their abdominal movements. Uniquely, they can swim backwards very quickly. And this species will molt at the end of June. They usually eat old shells to regain the calcium and phosphate contained within. This is dolphin. Some researchers have found that dolphins have the longest memories of any species, apart from humans. A study revealed that dolphins can recognize the voices of their close friends, even after being separated for 20 years. A number of scientists have concluded that this extraordinary memory can be linked to the evolution of social relationships among dolphins. This is a moray eel. Several types of moray eels have very beautiful body colors. The colors and patterns on the moray eel's body vary greatly depending on the type. Many marine aquarium lovers use this eel as an addition to their aquarium collection. Several tourist attractions have collections of various types of beautiful moray eels. This is mouth bass. Large mouth bass, also known as the Queensland grouper, is generally aggressive when it comes to hunting for food. They often hide in coral crevices or among rocks, waiting for their prey to appear. Giant groupers are also known as effective predators, utilizing their size and strength to catch fish and other marine creatures. This is garfish. Alligator fish are large fish with flexible armor consisting of ganoid scales. These scales contain a thin layer of ganoin and a bony body with serrated edges that provide effective protection against predators. Throughout history, this fish has also been a game fish for sport fishing and can also be kept as an aquarium fish. This is squid. Squid are intelligent sea creatures. They have large and complex brains, even comparable to those of whales. The squid's ability to learn and adapt also impressed researchers. They are capable of completing complex tasks and even exhibit behavior that indicates extraordinary intelligence. This is a Decapodiformer. Decapodiforms is a superorder of cephalopoda consisting of all cephalopod species with 10 limbs, specifically 8 short arms and 2 long tentacles. Thank you for watching guys, see you next video.